Diplos are one of the more interesting mobs within the Don't Starve world. Before they used to just be fodder for bosses, and they would split into herds and overpopulate. But now they can be used to help the survivors, be it for warmth, companionship, speed, combat, or food. So let's take a look at some things that may or may not be true about beefaloes. <laughs> Beefalo babies are bigger than adults. Yes they are. Their collision seems to be bigger than the adult beefaloes. You can use this to filter babies from the adults quite easily and make new herds. Or maybe just to slaughter. Riding a beefalo does not reset domestication loss. False. It does reset domestication loss. Anything that raises domestication will reset the domestication loss rate that the beefalo had previously. So just taking care of your beefalo will protect it from going undomesticated. You can pet the beefalo you are mounted on. This is true. Honestly had no idea that this was a thing. This was probably added during the Walter update, but we never really had a reason to type slash pet into the text chat. There are two types of pet, regular pet and big pet. So if you ever wanted to pet your beefalo or wabi, you can. Shaving a beefalo and taking it into the caves makes it shavable again. This is false. It looks like it does restore the beefalo's hair, but it seems to only be a visual bug. The beefalo is still considered shaven. Taking a beefalo that's in heat into caves removes the beefalo's aggression. Yes, this is true, and I actually tested this out on stream through a suggestion from a viewer. This could be helpful for those random fall or winter heats that occur. However, it does not work in spring. Attacking a baby beefalo while riding a beefalo will cause the ridden beefalo to be aggressive when dismounted. Yes, this happens. The beefalo seems to have a grudge. I think why this happens is because a player probably gets a tag applied to them when they hit a baby beefalo. It's kind of the same as when you take an egg from the tall bird nest the tall bird will know that you took the egg. This is probably why the beefalo will be aggressive towards you when you dismount because you have that tag placed on you. This only happens with the babies though. Fighting adult beefaloes don't make your beefalo aggressive, so there must be something unique to fighting the babies. Beefalo can go extinct. Yes they can, and sadly there's no way to bring them back if they all die. But you can help them out a bit by creating multiple herds. You see, it's actually rather easy based on shard changing. When you take a beefalo into caves, they will disconnect from their herd, meaning that you can make a herd in caves or move the beefalo to any new cave entrances and create herds near them. You could also do this by just having a beefalo with you as you disconnect, as it will disconnect them from the herd that they are with. But you can make beefalo herds wherever you want. Those are some myths and facts about beefalo. Maybe you can find more if you have anything unique you'd like to share, make sure to comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and until next time, take care.